Hey guys, happy Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, October 2nd, 2018. Second day of October, or Tedtober as I like to call it, <laughs> since my birthday is this week. Um, I'm here with my friend Alan Gooch, second time he's been on the TED show. Uh, second time we're going to be talking about Cure Bowl, the Cure Bowl, and cancer research and finding a cure uh, for cancer. So, And he's got this cool pink shirt on that's got the Cure Bowl logo all on it. So I'm in orange. Don't pay attention to me. Get that thing pay out attention there. to yeah. Alan Gooch, everybody. So welcome, Alan. Let him, oh, Tracy says he can hear us or see us, so I don't have to do that. Good. Uh, we're very happy to have you on. This is kind of a last minute, in hope, Tracy, uh, kind of a last minute thing. They've got, a for me, uh, poor planning on my part. Uh, we, they've got a huge event coming up here at the Citrus Club on Friday, October 5th. So we want to do a promo, but really we want to talk about what Cure Bowl stands for and all the great things that Cure Bowl is doing. So welcome. Appreciate that very much, Mr. Absolutely. Ted. Absolutely. We've got a famous UCF alum here. <laughs> I mean, gosh, are we sad when Wally's closed down and your picture, where'd your picture go that was on the Wally's Yeah, wall? Wally's, uh, I had a beard in that picture. <laughs> you you I did. Was, uh, not really upset that all that was <laughs> You were not. Um, we should have taken that before they <laughs> shut it down. <laughs> it was, it certainly was a historical landmark. It was. I know. I was really sad. I had been going there since <laughs> before it was legal to go there. Uh, back in the day, before they didn't really that check ideas. That was your ideas. fraternity house, right? It, you know, Scott for a Rose, long time, you, Scott yeah. Rose. I mean, we all, all the UCF people yeah. used to go there because that's, all the games were downtown. <laughs> that's right. So we used to, stupid stuff we it did. Was tailgate, pregame. Tailgate, pregame. Yeah. I mean, you went there at 7 a.m. during homecoming, and there were people there that, before you. Trust me, it was a crazy little place. I miss it. Um, so talk about you. Give them a little background on you, and then let's talk about the Cure Bowl and all the wonderful things that you are doing, and of course, the event. Well, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Ted. Um, Alan Gooch, I'm the Executive Director of the Orlando Sports Foundation and CEO of the Cure Bowl. Uh, you know, the Orlando Sports Foundation is a 501c3 that operates right here in Central Florida. Uh, we do a lot of events, uh, and our signature event is the Outer Nation Cure Bowl. But we do do an event that we've done for the last two years here with the Citrus Club we partnered up, and it's the Diamonds Are Forever event. Uh, it's our casino night is what we call it and uh, we need everybody to come out and support that you know it's a $75 ticket you get food drinks uh, opportunity to mingle gamble legally here in <laughs> Central Florida <laughs> and it's all for raising money for the Breast Cancer Research Foundation and I'll talk a little bit about that right now so the Breast Please. Cancer Research Foundation is a uh, the highest rated cancer foundation in the US you can look that up on GuideStar or Cherry Navigator and uh, the Breast Cancer Research Foundation supports a researcher that we introduced them to Dr. Annette Khalid she's the head of cancer research here at the UCF College of Medicine and uh, you'll probably see some information about how the College of Medicine is going to expand their cancer research uh, work and Dr. Khalid is going to be heading that and so we're very proud to have been a part of helping so launch awesome. all that. It, it is truly awesome and uh, what's, what's done that is everybody out there in Central Florida and, and, and of course in the United States that supports the Auto Nation Cure Bowl. Uh, every time you buy a ticket uh, you're helping support that and in three years the Auto Nation Cure Bowl has presented a check total uh, uh, amount of money to the Breast Cancer Research Foundation of $3.55 million. That's, um, that's unbelievable yeah. in just so, three years. Yes. I remember the early days of planning, and Alexis, you asked a great check uh, question. We're going to share all the links, and Alan will read them to you, but also post them yeah. when we're done with the show of how you can attend Friday's event, how you can get involved. Uh, but now I remember the old days of the beginnings before there actually was a bowl. The vision, <laughs> that's right. the vision that you all had yeah. was, and so many people put their hearts and souls into um, developing the bowl and bringing it. I mean, the idea at the time was kind of unique, right? There, was there anything like it out there, a cure bowl? Uh, no, there's still nothing like it out there. Uh, there are 40 bowls in the United States, 40 NCAA college football bowl games, only one who's wholly devoted to its its charity partner. Now, all of them do great, great sure, work, and sure. I, I don't want to... Uh, 
all of them, everybody, all those bowls have charity partners. We just happen to put ours out front, sure. and we are raising money for that uh, organization, the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. So you can go to curebowl.com and get all the information that you need about the bowl, and of course, this Friday's event, uh, check-in registration here at the Citrus Club at 6 o'clock, and uh, it goes until... I think Ted's tired, and then when Ted gets tired, <laughs> Ted's then, tired. then we're done. Wow. But it's, it, it's a That's great a event. It helped thing. us last year. Uh, it's a good friend, a friend raiser as well as a, friend, a fundraiser for us, so we need your support. Please come out to our Diamonds event. That's this Friday, October 5th, here at the Citrus Club. Uh, a little bit more about the Cure Bowl. Uh, Ted's right. He was there at our first strikeout breast cancer bowling event. Amazing that was, stuff. was uh, 10 years ago. I can't believe it. 10 years rolling yeah. was our um, our little tagline that we had Ten this years? year. Oh, I like Ten that. Years That's very cool. So we've, been at, we've had a bowl for uh, three years. This will be our fourth bowl game, our, our Cure Bowl, Auto Nation Cure Bowl number four, coming up December 15th. It's a 1.30 kickoff at Camping World Stadium. That'll be our fourth game. But we actually had 10 years of our bowling event. Now, like I said at the beginning of the telecast, the Orlando Sports Foundation, uh, we have a lot of events. We have a high school all-star game here in Central Florida that we underwrite between Orange and Seminole County, not only between football players, but we also have all-star band, cheerleaders, and trainers. And uh, we also have a March to Cure before our Cure Bowl event. Uh, so look at all the stuff March. you can do and get involved. Absolutely. you got to go to CureBowl.com to see that. We've got the Cure Bowl Cup, which is our uh, golf tournament, and our Strikeout Breast Cancer Bowling event has been our longest term I love event. that event because yeah. I don't really bowl, but, you know, there's a bar, there's there's <laughs> games, there's, there's a bar, there's prizes. I mean, that's such a fun afternoon. Or evening? Do we? Do they do it's, evenings now? Still an yeah, afternoon. It's still in the afternoon. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Um, that goes until the evening. Yeah, of course. Of the bar. Course it does. The bar, the bar goes always goes. Yeah. Thank you, Shirley, for that. I do like orange. <laughs> I just wish I would have thought to wear pink so I could have matched Alan today. Uh, so let's talk more about Friday. So Friday's event is really what we want to get the word yes. out about because the Cure Bowl is December fifteenth. We still have time to talk about that between now and December. But Friday's event is really big. The Citrus Club is behind it. Um, you get to come up to the Citrus Club. What's the dress code for the event? Uh, business casual, okay, and uh, or cocktail dress. I, I know that I, I think the ladies go that 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 route. Uh, we, we do appreciate the Citrus Club. The Citrus Club being a great partner of ours uh, to allow the Auto Nation Cure Bowl to be the benefactor of diamonds is great. We know that the, there are so many great causes out there, and the yeah. Citrus Club gets behind one of those each year, and they given us back-to-back -back years, which is, we're very honored. And they shut the whole, so if you're a Citrus Club member, by the way, and trying to have a meeting here on Friday, you have to end your meeting by 2 o'clock so that they, on Friday, this Friday, October 5th, so they can get ready for the Cure Bowl, which opens up, I mean, the Cure Bowl, I'm sorry, yeah, the Cure Bowl event at the Citrus Club, Diamonds Are Forever, which opens up at 6 o'clock on Friday. So they can go to CureBowl.com and get yeah, tickets? They can go to CureBowl.com to get tickets, or if you're a Citrus Club member, you can go on the Citrus Club website and get tickets there, or you can do that right here. If you're coming up for lunch today or sometime this week before Friday, you'll be able to get your tickets here. We'll have our Orlando Sports Foundation, we'll have a staff member here that'll be here at lunch and at happy hour promoting the Diamonds Are Forever benefiting the Orlando Sports Foundation Auto Nation Cure Bowl. I love it. All right, so curebowl.com uh, or citrus-club.com, citrus -club I believe you can I go to. So. But I think curebowl.com is easier. Then you can get your information about the actual Cure Bowl, the history, uh, and you can get your tickets via curebowl.com uh, for the event. So this Friday, October 5th, 2018, here at the Citrus Club, 6 o'clock p.m., uh, you want to? It's such a fun event. I mean, I always have a great time. Uh, it it raises money for such an amazing cause, and the research that they do, which I'm sure there's information on the Cure Bowl about there Dr. Is. Khalid, and uh, it's just to have been part of it almost from the beginning. Of course, Alan from the very beginning, just to be a part of it. It's just such a blessing to see it come to fruition, and for our city to embrace it, and really for the the whole bowl community to embrace it. Yeah, it, it, you're absolutely right, Ted. We, Mayor Dyer's mom is a breast cancer survivor. Um, I, I say that there are so many out there, um, and, and so many that we that actually have been involved with us. You remember Sandy Breitenstein, our, our board CFO, who passed away of cancer, and so it's it's hit right home with us. Um, unfortunately, 
it's the number two killer of women on the planet, and so we've got to try to stop that. And Dr. Khalid is doing a great job of, of trying to do that. Fantastic. She's doing her research right here in Central Florida. So when you buy a ticket, it benefits her research that stays right here. But it really wouldn't matter if Dr. Khalid was doing her research in India. Right. It would be great because cancer is going to be able to be solved everywhere. And that's the beauty of the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. They have a strong science board that bets out all the, and organizes yeah, all awesome. the research. So Dr. Khalid is one of many researchers that are being funded, but she gets to um, use it, uh, the Cure Bowl as a platform uh, for her research right here in Central Florida. So awesome. All right, so October 5th, this Friday, curebowl.com. Uh, please, please come out. It's such a great time. You if you haven't been to the Citrus Club in a while, lots of good stuff going on. Uh, when they do these events, they go all out. The whole club is shut down, so it's one giant party area, <laughs> one giant area to celebrate and to talk about research yeah. and to really have a great time for an amazing cause. Thank yeah. you, Alan, for coming on today. Alan Gooch, UCF, UCF uh, football hero, Wally's picture loving. <laughs> I love Alan Gooch. I love to give him a hard time. Uh, such a great sport, but. You've done so much research, you and your team. I mean, you guys have done such a great job. You and your team have done Thank amazing you. things for... It takes um, an army. It takes an army. Yeah. I know. That's my next one. I say it takes a village to take care of Ted, so I can't even imagine what it's like to take care of CureBowl stuff. CureBowl.com, guys. Come out and attend. And if you have any questions, you can always go to thetedshow.com. We'll have Alan's link on there um, right after the show. So thanks, buddy. We can Please. tackle this. We can tackle this. That's yeah, good. I like that. Oh, I need one of those. It's like the old we Artie Grindle where you right. said, I can sell you a car. That's right. We can tackle this. All right. I love you guys. See you tomorrow, maybe later today. Go out and support the Cure Bowl. CureBowl.com. Thank you. Thank you.